everyone. Welcome to the tutorial for querying InfluxDB 3.0 using JDBC driver for Tableau. My name is Chen Chen, and I'm a software engineer here at Influx Data. In this session, we're going to explore how to query data out of InfluxDB with the data analytic tools via the Aeroflight SQL JDBC driver. We will use Tableau as an example in this demo. In this demo, we're going to use Tableau Desktop as the client and InfluxDB Cloud Serverless as the database server, which anyone can sign up for free. In the middle is the Aeroflight SQL JDBC driver act as a connector between the client and server to transfer data. Later, we will talk more in detail about how the JDBC driver here we are using is different from the traditional drivers. Before we jump into the demo, let's cover what Tableau and Aeroflight SQL JDBC driver are. Tableau is a data analytic platform. It provides users to query and explore their data while their data can be huge and complex. Tableau provides really easy user interface for users to drag and drop their data and create graphs out of it. And users don't have to have any coding and programming skills. Tableau gets its data from a database instance and can use JDBC API to do so. JDBC is a standard API for applications to communicate with database servers. The Aeroflight SQL JDBC driver is a JDBC implementation that utilizes the underlying Flight SQL protocol. It is an open source project developed by Dremio, and it was donated to Apache Aero project. With this new driver, many applications can simply connect to any database that supports Flight SQL. Because InfluxDB 3.0 is an Arrow native database and it supports Flight SQL. So many applications that already support JDBC APIs can simply connect to InfluxDB to query and get data. And those applications doesn't have to develop their own APIs or drivers. They can simply use the Aeroflight SQL JDBC driver to connect to InfluxDB. To visualize what we just talked about, I drew two diagrams to help with it. With the traditional JDBC driver, users have to install and manage one proprietary driver for each database. With the single Flight SQL JDBC driver, applications can simply connect to any database that supports Flight SQL. Let's do a further comparison of traditional JDBC versus Flight SQL JDBC drivers. As we can see from the previous diagrams, from the driver management perspective, with the traditional JDBC driver, users have to install and manage one driver for each database and keep each driver up to date. With the Flight SQL JDBC driver, users only need to install and manage a single driver for all the database that supports Flight SQL. Underneath, on the data representation side, many other JDBC drivers optimize for row-based transaction processing, but have slower data transfer for large results. And this is common in analytic workloads. On the other hand, the Flight SQL JDBC leverages the Apache Arrow data format, which is an in-memory columnar data structure. Even though the Flight SQL still converts data from column to row, the data transfer is column-based, so you benefit from the compression of data over the wires to increase the throughput of that transfer. And you don't have to serialize and deserialize the data, which saves time and network resources. Therefore, we can conclude that the performance of the Flight SQL JDBC driver is significantly faster than the traditional one for analytic workloads 
especially for large volumes of data. Without further ado, let's jump into the demo. I am following this documentation on Influx Data's website for this tutorial. So first of all, let's download the Tableau desktop. You can go to this website to do that. Since I already have one installed on my computer, so I'll skip this step. Next, we need to install the Flight SQL JDBC driver. You can go to here to download one and uh, pick the latest version that you can get and download the jar file. Uh, in the instruction, it shows that we need to put the jar file into a specific path. Uh, because I'm using Mac, so I am going to copy this path for that. And let's copy it into this path and let's double check. Yep, it's download. Okay, so before we jump into the Tableau, we are going to uh, put some data into our InfluxDB. Let's go to the UI interface and uh, go to this bucket, which is this page. And let's create a bucket, call it sample data. Create. And after that, we need to add some data. Uh, we're going to use line protocol for that, but you can use uh, other format to input data. And for the sample data, we're going to use the data from this repo. Uh, it's a public repo anyone can go and download. Let's pick the earthquake data for this tutorial. And you can see the LP means line protocol. And copy it. You can enter manually and paste it here. Write data. So now data is in this bucket. We can go to Tableau and connect the JDBC driver and see. Let's go to more and we pick the JDBC. So for the URL here, uh, let's do it again. Let's go to the doc and see what the doc says. For the URL, we need the following. Uh, we need the protocol, we need the serverless region URL, the protocol, the port number, and for the query parameters, um, this parameter is only necessary on Mac OS. So if you are using Linux or Windows, you don't have to include it. And if you are Mac, you include this it doesn't actually have any security effect, so you are uh, feel safe to use it. So, and here is the URL from my UI, and this is the same from here. So I can just copy this line, copy it Go to here, paste it. For the dialog, I select Postgres, username, I keep it empty, password, um, we need to go back to the UI interface and create a API tokens. So let's make a, um, so here in the doc, it suggests us to make a read access for the bucket because we're not writing anything into it. So let's give it read only. Let's call it uh, Tableau. The bucket only have read option and generate one. Here is the API token that we generate. Make sure you save it because you will never see it again after you close it. Okay, let's go back to Tableau and we copy the API token that we just generated into the password and leave 
the properties file empty and click sign in. Now we are successfully connect Tableau to InfluxDB. And for the database, it's public and schema, let's select IOX. Now here is all the tables in your bucket. Let's pick the earthquake and we are going to see the raw data and build the data visualization. If you click update now, you see all the raw data. And let's go to the sheet two and build a data visualization. You can drag time and drag the depth, the earthquake, the minimum depth. And you see, you only see two dots. It's because there's only one year. We can change the year into day and we can see more. And we can also change the color so that each color for each graph are different. You can also uh, drag status into death and you can see they have different status. You can make the graphs into one chart. Uh, can remove it, can try different things. For example, move the types into here. So you can try all sorts of different th things to visualize your data. I just showed you how to utilize Aeroflight SQL JDBC driver in Tableau. There are many other applications that already support JDBC APIs, such as C-Line, DataDrip, DBeaver, and much more. Feel free to try out on your own. On the database server side, InfluxDB have many other products that supports Flight SQL. You can apply the same steps from this demo to all the products. We really hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. We look forward to seeing what you build next.